So I just finished building uh, sort of my LV power setup. Uh, I haven't moved into the space yet. I just I wanted to get this done before I did that. Um, I went just off the uh, the benzene quest line. Obviously, I mean I'm in, I'm in LV. I can't get benzene, but just going off of this, I haven't seen any setups online. Or I guess I haven't looked very hard. But when I was looking to sort of see examples of this, I didn't see anything um that works in sort of the way that i was thinking and so i figured maybe it'd be helpful to future people um to just sort of show off my setup uh now that it's done so obviously there's the you know just the stuff detailed in the quest line so the the two railcraft boilers um and the 24 coke ovens i've got my two buffers here so charcoal and creosote just to sort of show how the coke ovens are working so i've got this pipe and then another one on the opposite side. Um, these are putting wood into the coke ovens and then over here, this pipe and the one on the opposite side, as you can see, are pulling out the charcoal with hoppers. Uh, and then if we go up to the top, we can see this is how I'm getting the creosote out. Uh, this is probably the most expensive part of this whole setup because you need, you know, 24 pumps. Um, but yeah, you could also possibly do it with timers. I figured, I don't know, pumps are more compact, and I honestly, for the number of them that you'd need to make, I, I don't really know if it is a huge difference at that point cost-wise. And so coming down here, uh, we have the wood farm. So I went with an LV crop manager for this. Uh, I've also seen people use Steve's carts, and I think there's a couple of other options, especially once you get MV circuits. Um, but this is what I went with. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of examples of this. In fact, I haven't really seen any sort of images of what this should look like. Um, so hopefully this is vaguely correct. Um, as you can see, I've got water input just coming from up there. Uh, the crop manager can hydrate for the purposes of like IC2 stats, so it can buff the production rate, but it doesn't actually act as a water source. And so to sort of save space, I'm using garden soil. And just to be specific about the setup here, so this layer of plants is the block below. This is, or the block below the, the crop manager, this is the block that the, cap runner, that the crop manager is on, and then up here is a block above. Um, and then because it's 11 by 11, you go out five instead of four. Uh, I'm just taking a little bit of steam from the boilers using a turbine, that's how I'm powering it, and then I'm using a conveyor to pump the items out into drawers for buffers and then back into the setup. These are literally just one one ones. Um, all of these bonsai crops, I just literally placed the crop sticks, put a sapling in it for all of these. So these are not bred up at all. Uh, the quest line says that you would typically start doing that in MV. And from what I've read, that seems to be the consensus. This is way, way faster than um, what those coke ovens can produce. As you can see, this hasn't even been running that long and it's already backed up. Uh, almost that entire drawer. Um, and then these coke ovens also just overproduce for the boilers. Uh, but yeah, so that's my setup. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. And thanks for watching.